What's going on YouTube? Hey, I hope you guys have liked the recent fishing tackle discussion videos I've been posting. Today I want to talk about an all-time classic that's helped anglers put giant fish in the boat since like the beginning of time. I swear I think the Indians were throwing this bait back in the day. And that's the Smithwick Devil's Horse. Now guys, here in Florida, you can catch fish on this bait year round and you can catch fish on it straight out of the box, but there's a few simple modifications that I like to make on my devil's horse that help me put more fish in the boat, and I think it'll help you guys in the long run. So today I wanna to talk about devil's horse modifications. So let's get to it. So here it is, my devil's horse straight out of the box. As you can see, there's been no modifications done yet to it. And the first thing that I like to do when I take these out of the box, is I remove the hooks. And the reason I do that is it prevents me from putting a hook in my hand when I'm making all the other modifications that I need to make. So I'm gonna remove these hooks and then we'll get on with the show, guys. So as you all can see, I've removed the hooks from the Devil's Horse. And the first thing I wanna do to this Devil's Horse is put a size three split ring where the hooks used to be. The reason I do that is because as you guys saw on the previous clip, when you buy these Devil's Horses out of the box, this, the hooks are attached right here on this piece of sheet metal and that gives the fish so much leverage to throw the hooks. There's no give. When you put split rings on your devil's horses, it'll help you put more fish in the boat because you're taking away all that leverage that the fish has to toss the bait. So the first thing I wanna do is put a size three split ring where the hooks used to go. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll get to the next tip. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and put the split ring back on that center hook but I haven't put it back on the front yet. And here's why guys, check this out. You see that hole where it's supposed to be screwed back in on? I didn't screw it back on because it's not going back there. This is gonna be twisted and I'm gonna mount it right there in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a split ring on, get that screwed in on the center and we'll get to the next tip. All right guys, so as y'all can see, my first modification is I rotate that little piece of sheet metal and I mount it closer to the front of the devil's horse. This will allow your devil's horse to sit more level with the top of the water. Now when you first buy these things out of the box, they kind of sag towards the back end and that's because they aren't level. So by doing this, your devil's horse will sit straight and it will allow you to fish over submerged grass with less hangups. So that's the first thing I do guys, mount that thing towards the front of the devil's horse so that way you can evenly distribute the weight. So now that we've talked about the front of the devil's horse, I move to the back of the devil's horse. And what I do back here is I take off this little portion of the, of the devil's horse that holds the hook, unscrew it, and this blade back here, I just rotate it. So that way, as you can see, the blades kind of face back towards the rear of the devil's horse. I'm gonna rotate them so they face forward. And what this does is it, it will help you create more of a disturbance on the water when you twitch this thing. It's gonna displace more water by doing this. So I'll go ahead and do that now and show you all what it looks like. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the rear of my devil's horse. As you see, I've totally turned that blade around so that way I could create more of a disturbance on the water when I just lightly twitch it. So that's what you want. You want those blades facing towards the front of the devil's horse. Now let's put some good hooks on this thing and button it all up and I'll show you the end result. All right guys, so there you have it. That's my devil's horse. I put Mustad size number four triple grips on here, guys. In my personal opinion, Mustad triple grips are the best treble hooks you can buy on the market. They're sticky sharp and you're gonna lose a lot less fish by throwing these things. I know you all noticed that little piece of putty that I've put there where the uh, little piece of sheet metal used to be. All that is is JB weld and it's their water weld. And all that will do is just prevent this from collecting water and sinking on you guys. Highly recommend you do that because you can't do this without it. So. That's all that is, and that's my devil's horse, guys. I hope you all like this video. If you'll please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know down in the comments below, guys, what's your favorite top water lure, and what other videos would you like to see in the future? We'll see you all next week with a video on Kissimmee, and thanks again for watching.